Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company. I want to talk today about how things fit together and importantly, stay together. Our guest contestant today seems to have a problem if we look at the two cranks. They don't seem to be in line. Here, this one's forward. Possibly the rider has a very strong left leg and has bent the spindle. Or maybe something's broken. This seems to be moving. Something's going on. This is one of those fun cases we're gonna to have to go inside and see. Or do we? Something's loose. What's the first thing you should do? Clearly, just tighten it. So put that bolt there. We get the right wrench. We are going to get good mechanical advantage and tighten. Yeah! Oh, that bolt. Yes, it's tight. With these pipes, how can you doubt that? Well, that was tight, it's not moving. That's part of the problem here. Let's go ahead and get this bolt off. Get our good mechanical advantage, break it free. I'm gonna spin that off. Put the socket in here. And the bolt's gonna come out and then we're gonna have a peek now what's going on inside? And right there is the issue. So if you come on in and look straight in, you can see the spindle has come all the way to the end of the crank flat. Shouldn't be like that. So to pull this arm, of course I'm gonna get my crank puller here. I'm gonna put it in and then it's going to, wait a minute, boy that was fast. It was scared of this tool. No, bad joke. It shouldn't come off like that at all. It should be a tight press fit. So what's happened here? When the crank is ridden with a loose bolt, there's movement. So it ends up being a fight. We have a very hard steel spindle versus the aluminum arm. Who loses? The owner. Trashed. This is now completely trashed. So, the square and square, what started a square hole and a square peg, we're now getting a round hole with a little bit of owner modification. So this is again from the bolt being loose. How does a bolt get to be loose? Generally, it was never properly tight from the get-go. Get things tight, they stay tight. So that's a problem. Let's see what it should look like on the other side. Let's see if it's any better. We're gonna flip the bike. On the drive side, let's pull this bolt, have a look inside, and a better situation. Here, the spindle does not come all the way to the end of the flat. Hence, this bolt is pushing on the arm to keep it tight on the spindle. It's as if you, the mechanic, are riding along with the rider with your thumb on here with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of force as they ride the bike. You're keeping it on there through the presence of the torque on that bolt. That's what you do, mechanic. So this, we're gonna go ahead and pull off to see what the good fit is. I'll talk a little bit more about the spindle and what happens. These are square spindle, but they actually got a little bit of a taper. And the extractor comes off, and there we are. What's interesting on here, you can actually see some of the footprint, the aluminum arm rubs on the spindle, leaves a little, little mark where it used to be. We don't want this to go all the way to the end. So good fit on this side, a new arm needed on the other side. Sorry, guest contestant, that's the way it's gonna be. To wrap this all up, we've gotta talk replacement parts. So we want a new one because we're not gonna shove that aluminum back where it used to be. We have to get a new arm and that means standards. And we know we can't have enough standards. Black anodized, okay. 170 length, we have that marked and that right fitment there. And of course, there are different standards there. We have two. We have what's called the, the JIS, and we have the ISO. This is a steeper taper. This is a less steep, a little more subtle taper. 
and they need to match the cranks. This one, for example, you would see on the classic Campagnolo. A good fit. You want the spindle to come in, but not all the way to the flat. You do not want the crank to go all the way back and hit this uprising section, the wall here. You do not want that either. That's a good fit. So here we have the JIS, and this would be a good fit here. It's not coming to the end, and we're not going to hit that wall. So that is appropriate. Uh, no, you could not <laughs> mix them up. So we have the Shimano arm here, it would actually work. This is wrong anodizing, it is the right length. If we put this on the ISO, wow, it's starting to get close, but we still have room. Once you actually press it on, we are now smashing up against that wall and it's gonna go even further when the bolt's fully tight. Not gonna work, mixed standards. We are seeing less and less of a problem with what is called the ISIS spline system, the ISIS drive. Octolink is a spline system. There's the power link, uh, several, the Mega Evo, Exo. All the spline systems do a better job of not getting themselves ruined because there's more contact, but they still rely on that crank bolt. Again, it's not a fair fight. We've got these hard steel spindles mushing into these soft aluminum. Keep the bolt tight, and that makes it right. And right from Park Tool till next time. And that was the wrong camera. Right. Why are you on that camera? Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.